Oh, good morning, everyone. Welcome morning. to the Park Terrace News. It's Allison. And Gino. And we're coming to you on Saturday, July 11th. We want to let you know what's going on here at Park Terrace today. So this morning, we have our exercise cl class, Strength and Weights. You can join us either in the activity room or on channel 1960 at 1030. 12 p.m., we have a National Geographic video about the islands of Europe. At 1 p.m., we have Cornhole in the activity room. 1.45, you can watch a Rick Warren message on the Saddleback Church, uh, 1.45. Uh, 3 p.m., we have a movie called The I Don't Care Girl. Sounds like me sometimes. <laughs> 5 p.m. is a chair exercise class um, on Channel 1960. And tonight at 6.30, we have a John Tesh show at Red Rock. So he's going to be performing at 6.30 tonight. That is all of our activities. What's going on with you, Gino? I'm going to start with the weather report. It is going to be 94 degrees outside today and very dry. So it is important that we stay hydrated, drink lots of liquids today, and limit your time outside. Um, be careful of sunburn also. It'll happen in just a few minutes. Um, next is um, a letter I had sent out a couple of days ago talking about testing. And I want to clarify a little bit. We received a mandate from the state of California that we are to begin testing individuals. All new residents and new employees coming into the community need to have a negative COVID test before they can come in. Um, what we are doing also is testing both the new resident and the new employee seven days after they've arrived just to make sure that they are negative with COVID. It is uh, at the point now in California and especially in Orange County that it is prevalent everywhere. And there is a concern by the government about it getting into assisted livings. And the method of testing and what we're doing is just one more step in minimizing the ability for this to spread throughout our community. It's important to note that washing your hands and wearing a mask are still the most important thing that we all can do to minimize the spread of the virus. And the testing is just another tool that we have to uh, check and see what's going on. We now have the ability here at Park Terrace with our nurses to conduct the tests and most of them we will be doing ourselves. Um, we're also going to be testing people as mandated if you're leaving the community. You need to have a test when you come back or we will test you uh, upon your return. Right now, the results from those tests are taking approximately three days. You will need to self-isolate until we receive those uh, results. If negative, you may go uh, on about throughout the community. And again, we will test you in seven days again. Uh, without telling you more than you want to know, the reason for the second test seven days later is because it has been shown that with, in many cases, the virus can take at least seven days to build up enough in your body to show up as a positive on a test. That is the reason for the second test. We are doing this for both residents and our employees here. Um, this is all part of an effort to keep us all safe and uh, keep this virus at bay as much as possible as we're continuing to see the increase in all Southern California communities with the virus, hospitals being filled, emergency rooms. Um, it is actually worse now than it was earlier this year. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know if there's something you'd like to know more about this. Uh, I can honestly say that I've learned more than I ever wanted to know, but I am continually being updated by the Center for Disease Control, the Department of Social Services, and the Orange County Department of Health. So I'm basing everything I'm doing on fact. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not listening to the media too, but I'm taking that with a grain of salt. Um, so please come see me if you have any questions or concerns about how or why we are doing what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you, Gino. I was thinking on an upbeat note, we have two birthdays today. It is Regina Jackson's 100th birthday today. Happy birthday, Regina. And Lorraine Harsh is also celebrating a birthday. So if you see both of these ladies, make sure you wish them an extra special happy birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Regina and Lorraine. So with that, I think that's all we have for you today. Have a great day and uh, we'll see you later. All Bye, right. everyone. Bye.